Hello, my name is Krina Baltag. I'm a senior lecturer in international arbitration at Stockholm University. And in the next minutes, I'll present you the latest research um, that I'm undertaking currently, which is focused on the third party funding and CETA, Canada EU Comprehensive Economic and Trade Agreement, which was signed in 2016 and entered into and provisionally applying starting with 2017. Third party funding is slowly becoming a common future of international arbitration after being uh, traditionally prohibited or under-regulated in national legislations. And with the increased awareness of third party funding, um, as well as of its consequences on the arbitration proceedings, we see that the past years have seen, have presented a growth in the regulation of third party funding. CTA parties have included uh, quite late in the process uh, of, of, uh, of, of, of the CTA negotiations, the provisions of articles 8.1 and 8.26 addressing third party funding. To start with, article 8.1 of the CTA uh, provides for a broad definition of the notion of third party funding, which includes both um, for-profit funding in return for remuneration, as well as not-for-profit funding uh, through a donation or a grant. Article 826 of the CTA is more concerned with the implications of third-party funding in the context of investment uh, disputes between investors and states, and provide for the disclosure of the name and address of the third-party funder, either at the time of the submission of the claim if existing at the time, or as soon as the funding is in place, if this occurs after the submission of the claim. The CTA does not address the disclosure of the funding agreement itself, which is uh, uh, one of the important issues uh, discussed currently in international arbitration. The CTA does not address the issues of third party funding in the context of provisional measures, uh, more specifically security for costs. A different approach is taken by other uh, treaties entering into by the UA EU, including the EU-Vietnam uh, FTA Investment Protection Agreement, which expressly provides that tribunals should, shall take into account whether there is uh, third-party funding in deciding on security for costs. Arbitral tribunals have generally refused to consider third-party funding as being the determinative factor in ordering security for costs. And more recently, this was expressed in South American silver versus Bolivia. Other issues not addressed by the CTA concerns the legal standing of the funded party in the arbitration proceedings. For example, in Tenever versus Argentina, Argentina challenged the jurisdiction on the basis of the fact that the funder and not the claimants is the real party in the arbitration. The challenge was unsuccessful. Also not addressed by the CTA uh, is the relevance of third party funding in the context of allocation of the costs of arbitration. In the joint cases, Ioannis Kardasopoulos versus Georgia and Ron Fuchs versus Georgia, Georgia argued that the costs of arbitration should not be covered because there is a third party in place. The tribunal rejected Georgia's submission and held that it is unaware of any principle supporting the proposition that a third party financing agreement should be taken into consideration in determining the amount of recovery by the claimants of their costs. Now, third party funding is uh, um, one of the hot topics in debate in the context of the reform of investor state dispute settlement, and in particular, before the UNCTRA Working Group 3, which concerns the ISDS reform. Third party funding made its way on the agenda um, uh, quite recently in the discussions on the solutions um, uh, to the concerns raised by uh, ISDS, um, in particular concerns with legitimate, um, uh, the legitimacy of ISDS, as well as costs um, and duration of the proceedings as well as uh, uh, arbitrators uh, related matters and ISDS proceedings. 
as such, states have raised um, several issues in the context of third party funding, and in particular related to this disclosure of the existence of a third party funding arrangement. Um, eventual conflicts between uh, uh, raised by the presence of the third party funder and with direct impact on the arbitrators, as well as issues with security for costs, impecuniosity of, of, of the funded party, as well as allocation of costs of arbitration. So we'll probably see more on the topic in the future. It is important that uh, um, states as well as investors are aware of the relevance of the third party funding as well as the implications thereof. Thank you very much.